YouTube, I got my celebrations auto ship for the month and I wanted to show you. So just a recap on what we originally got. So you remember we got the blue binder. We got the stamping mat, which I love. And if you can get the stamping mat, go and get it. You got the stamping platform um, with the original shipment. And this was in January. I'm going to open this up. You also got the markers. And then the first stamp set you got was the... And you also got the folder to put your stamps in. Um, and then the first stamp was all about celebrations and birthdays and um, that kind of thing. And then the next auto ship, which was supposed to be March, but we got in April, was the, like the women's and friendship one. So we got, you know, just a bunch of stuff on friendship and women. really quick and then we got Father's Day we got the folder and then we got the what oh, it's called what a guy this is really helpful for Father's Day and I have to make a birthday card my dad's birthday is coming up so like got to do that so then I got push this out of the way we got the summer one and I think it's called Summer Fun, I think is what, what it's called, I guess. Anyway, so we got this stamp set. And this is, like, so cute. Like, this this um, auto ship is really just, like, to fill out your stamp collection. And, you know, maybe some of the gaps that you have with your stamp collection. If you got the window um, stamp and die set or the auto ships, this would work with it. So that would be another option for you. Even this would work too. You could add to it. So it's just really, really cute. And then of course you got your binder or your your envelope. So you can put all your stamps together and they're organized. Um, and then by the end of the year, we should have a full binder, which is I'm I'm really excited about. So. Um, I'm going to make a birthday card using this stamp set and the what a guy and that's what we're going to be doing. So give me a few minutes to get some stuff together and I'll show you what I have in mind. Okay, so I had some paper in my stash, some stuff I got from Tuesday morning. I made a four and a fourth by five and a half card base. I wish I had more of this paper. I don't because I want it to match. And then I cut this down quite a bit because I wanted a really good border and I and I, uh, so this is about three and three fourths by five. And then this one is three and one fourths by four and a half. So first things first, I'm going to make a border or a pattern. And I'm going to use this fun palm leaf. I just, I think it's so cute. And then I'm using some classic Stampin' Up! color in olive, old olive. I'm using a rocker block. Never used a rocker block. Well, not never. I don't know. It just seems like a lot. So we'll see how this works. But, um, see? 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 Shoot, is that going to work now that I've screwed this up? Um, yeah, that'll be semi-okay, I guess. Oh, for the love of Pete, let's try this again. I'll try to clean this up. I just inked it up with the ink pad, and I'm just going to try to clean some of this mess up so it's not causing more problems. Try to... I'm not pushing down hard enough, I think, is the issue. And this is a water-based ink, so I'm not too worried about it, like, staining anything. 
would be a little bit more concerned um, to stain stuff. I think I would have a little bit more control if I had a regular block. And I don't know where my big block is to do this. Just, just throwing that out there. I really have no idea where it is. So, And it's okay because something is going to cover it so it's not going to be like this huge... If it was going to be like a focal point, yes, I'd be freaking out right now. But it's not going to be, it's going to be like background paper. So I'm not terribly upset. Alright, that's probably decent. Let's get this off really quick. Yeah, that's... That works for me. I'm okay with that. Oh shoot, I'm getting ink everywhere. Then I want to take this one and I'm going to do something similar. But I'm going to get a little block so I'm not totally messing, messing everything up here. Which we really don't want to do. But there's a lot of fun little leaves. I got this little guy. Which I think is great. So we're just going to... And the thing with making your own pattern paper is you want to rotate it so you're not stamping. So I stamped it, I stamped that one this way. I'm going to rotate it. And you're also going to want to stamp off of the paper um, just because you don't, you just don't want everything to look the same. Um, you want things to be different. We're also, I'm going to have to get a new one of these because I've totally got ink all over it. Um, just kind of eyeball where everything is so you're not doing extra work and just to kind of create some interest um, around it so wanted a little flare there. Make your own paper. All right, I gotta go cut another sheet of that little paper out because I got inky fingers all over it. Just give me one second. All right, so I got another sheet cut out. I'm gonna use, because I'm gonna do from the What A Guy set, I'm gonna do this sentiment that says the man of the moment. Um, I'm gonna make it a nursing trick for you. Use your fingers to measure. As a nurse, we touch a lot of gross stuff and you don't wanna be reaching it into your pocket to grab a measuring tape. So we use our fingers to measure. Helpful hint and or trip. Um, I got some black embossing folders from Alina Crafts. It's Alina Cuddle on here. I wanted to just try it. I'm running low on embossing powder and I really like the Wow um, embossing powder, but I wanted to see what hers is like. I just got some Bursa Mark watermark ink. Um, and this one, since it is quite a beefy sentiment. You really want to press down quite quite well on it. And I'm going to do it one more time. Hopefully we will get in the same spot.
paper that I just used to um, do this with. I'm going to hand it off camera just because I don't have enough workspace. Alright, it's not 100% like super fabulous, um, but I'm going to keep it. I like it. I don't think it's terrible. You could probably do another layer if you wanted, and all you would have to do is let it dry, and then, um, and then put another, you know, put it in the, oh, use words today. Put it in the, uh, put the Versamark on and then, and then re, you know, ink it up and everything. But. <laughs> so we got a card that looks something like this. And it kind of reminds me of a Hawaiian shirt and a lot of layers. So since this paper is so thin, I am going to have to glue it solidly onto this one, but I think I'm going to pop this one off. So let's hope my glue works because I've been having trouble with this nozzle, which makes life difficult and it doesn't have to be. Now, if you are using thicker paper, you could definitely do like a super layered card, but I'm not using thicker paper. I'm using quite thin paper here. Okay, and then I'm going to get some... Actually, I'm going to put my diamond press on this bad boy because it feels like it wants to pop up. And then I'm looking at the stamps just to see if I want to add anything to the bottom of there. And I think I might want to. We've got another cute leaf. There's so many leaves in here. Like I said, this is like really a, a like fill out your collection collection. I'm so glad I got it. Let's see how well that fits there. Does that look weird? I'm kind of feeling like it looks weird. Mm, I think I'm just going to leave it. Sometimes just being simple is like the best idea. This is not laying down flat for some reason. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just going to pop that this guy up. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to nail it. Um, I might, I might be. Seeing my dad, I don't know. I'm contemplating. I started a job, and I've been really, since the virus has happened, been really hunkering down and staying home and staying away from certain family members because they haven't been responsible as far as staying home and social distancing. But now that I'm working, I work in the medical profession. <laughs> I'm not in direct contact with anybody with the virus, and the people that do come into the office are very conscious. Um, they let us know, hey, I was in Florida, but I self-quarantined for two weeks, that kind of thing. If I were in direct, like if I was working in the hospital, in direct contact with people who could or possibly have it, I would not be seeing anyone at all. Like, I would not want to risk people's lives. Um... But now that I'm more in the public, I'm kind of like, maybe I should see my dad and my sister who haven't been behaving themselves. So, I don't know. 
I'm still thinking about it. But she's having like an ice cream social event at her house. And none of my other siblings ever do anything for my dad's birthday. Even though my sister and I always tell them like, uh, that looks, I don't know, that looks kind of creepy. I don't know. Anyway, we always tell them way in advance and nobody ever, you know, wants to come and celebrate his birthday. So it's really annoying. We do things like breakfast because my dad loves breakfast or we do things like um, we went to the zoo last year. So that's the kind of card. It almost looks like camo, which is really kind of neat. And then I'm going to stamp happy birthday, but I am not going to be... I'm going to put some, I'm probably going to do the green card. I was going to do this color, but this color is not, I don't know if you can tell, it is not going down well. It's kind of being annoying. So I'm going to put a piece of green and then probably stamp happy birthday in there with some leaves. So give me one second. I'm going to get that going. All right. So all I did for the inside was from the celebration set, I took the happy and I took the birthday. Um, that was the first one that came with the binder. And I did the inside of the card just with some green card stock. Um, and then I am going to have to redo this front piece because it's just too wavy and it doesn't, it just doesn't look good. I don't know why they included that paper in the kit that I got from Tuesday morning. So I'm just going to get some white card and do that, I think. But I really like this card. It's very camo looking to me. So, and just showing you that, you know, just with stamps, you can make a really great card. So if you don't have a huge collection, of dies and all kinds of fancy crafting tools you can still make a beautiful card and it still turns out great and whoever receives it's gonna love it so i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one